food adulteration is becoming more of a technical issue with products in today's world. And it's very difficult sometimes for the end user to understand where those products come from. So we can either have a targeted or non-targeted approach for adulteration. With the targeted approach, we can select the actual analyte molecules that we're trying to analyze and set up an assay and zero in on those targeted compounds. The non-targeted assay is more of a metabolomics approach where we could actually have hundreds of different chromatographic peaks within the um, sample. It's a very powerful approach and even though we don't know what all the different peaks are from that sample matrix, the electrochemical detector along with analysis of those compounds with pattern recognition software, it really allows us to get up an overview of what that sample is and whether it's been tainted. Now the charged aerosol detector has also been used in that similar capacity to look at olive oil adulteration. Well, we can use the lipidomics approach with charged aerosol detection, and we can do a complete lipid profile of those oils and identify whether that um, particular brand of oil is authentic or whether it's one of the gutter oil uh, products that are out there. We may not know what all the different compounds are. We don't have to have standards for them, but we can use this approach with principal component plot analysis and get a, a definitive analysis on that particular product.